Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game because I understand there's lots of people who want to make a game but they just don't know where to start. So this is going to be a nice, easy tutorial for you guys. So the first thing what you're going to want to do is download Unity Hub if you don't know where to get that. Then if you just search up on Google, it should come up as the first link and download it. After that, you're going to want to come to this button here which says Installs, click Install Editor and select the latest editor and when you go to install it, make sure you have this box here ticked. After that, you should be able to click this button here and select the 3D core game and rename it to what you want. So I'm going to name it Tutorial, just like that and hit Create Project. I just want to let you know now, you will be on the screen and it might take a couple of minutes to load, so I'm just going to skip to where it loads. Okay, so as you can see, now I've loaded into the Unity project and this is what to do next. Once you've loaded into your project, you should be greeted by a screen which looks something like this, but we'll come back to this a bit later. What you're going to want to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, find where it says XR Plugin Management and click Install. So once it's installed, you should see this screen here and you're going to want to click open XR and it should start installing. If you don't see the screen, then make sure you have the monitor selected and now wait for it to install. So what you're going to do is see something like this and you should click yes and that will then allow XR plugin management to finally finish installing. It will also restart your Unity. Okay, when you load back into Unity, you should see this little warning sign here. Click it and it will bring up this menu. And then if you see another error, click fix and wait for the scripts to compile. It should say something compiled back down here. And then click edit on this one. Click the little plus. Select valve index controllers and Oculus touch controller. I would not recommend selecting the MetaQuest touch pro controllers because it will not work. By the way, that does not mean that people on Oculus Pro cannot play your game. They will still be able to play your game completely fine. So what you're going to want to do next is change where it says here single pass, change it to multi pass and where it also says here single pass, change that to multi pass as well. So after you have changed both of them to multi pass, you then want to go back to XR plugin management, go to the Android tab, make sure you're not on this tab and select Oculus. After installing the Oculus thing here, go to Oculus here, go to the monitor, select multi-pass and change multi-view here to multi-pass and select low overhead mode just like that and leave both of these how it is. After that, go to OpenXR, go to the Android section, click plus and add the Oculus touch controller profile. After that, I recommend going to file and save so your progress saves. What you're going to want to do is go to Window, Package Manager, and here you're going to want to click for little plus and select Add Package from Git URL. In the URL bar, put this in com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. I will leave this here for you for a second. And then click Add. And you should see this screen here. Okay, so once it's downloaded, now click the little chevron on samples to bring down this menu and download the starter assets. And now if you look down here, you should have this folder. So just to let you know if it didn't put you in the folder, you want to go to samples, XR interaction, and then whatever version this is for you, double click starter assets and it will bring you into this section here. So once you went into the folder, you then want to click presets after that, you're going to want to click Add to Action Based Continuous Move Provider Default or whatever it says because it will be different for all of them. And just like that, I've now done it for all of them. Now after that, you're going to want to go to Edit, Project Settings again. After that, you're going to want to go down to Preset Manager and once you're in Preset Manager, you're going to want to find where it says Action Based Controller. Do not click Action Based Controller, MAR. And where it says Right Controller, write in Right. And where it says Left Controller, write in Left. And where it says Gaze, just leave it blank. Okay, so after that, you're going to want to go to the link down in the description and it will bring you to the official Grotatag locomotion page. 
When you're on the page, you're going to want to click Gorilla Locomotion Unity Package and then click View Raw and it will download it. So after that, there's two ways of doing this next bit. You can rather drag and drop the file into Unity and click All and then click Import. And then you should get a couple more folders here or you can right click, go to Import Package, Custom Package and select the Gorilla Tag Locomotion. So now that you've imported the Unity package, you now need to build your map. So I'm going to do something simple where I'm going to go right click 3D object and then create a cube. And I'm just going to make a very, very simple platform as you can see here. By the way, if you don't know how to move around in Unity, uh, A, S, W and D will not do anything unless you hold down right click and then you'll be able to move around. And here are the tools which of course you can use to rotate, move and scale your stuff. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate my cube here and I'm going to use the grey block in the middle and that will scale it down on all of the axis so when I move it up as you can see it's just a very small one. So I'm going to duplicate these cubes around a little bit and change the height. And now, as you can see, I've got a basic map, but it doesn't have textures. So to add textures, what you're going to want to do is right click here, click create, and then click folder and name this folder to materials. Double click to open this folder. You don't have to name it materials. I just think it's a suitable name. Then in here, I'm going to create another folder and call it colors. In this folder, I'm going to then right click, create and select material and name this for example to green and I can change the colour now to a nice green and now to apply I just drag and drop it onto the things. I just want to quickly say if you're enjoying this video it would be amazing if you could hit that like or subscribe button because it helps me out so 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 much and it shows me you also want further updates on how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game so apart from that straight back to the video. Now I'm going to quickly do Control C, Control V, rename this one to blue. And again, I'm just going to adjust these and now I've got blue. So I don't think you can really have a Gorilla Tag fan game without double walls. So of course, I've got to make them. And then I have to drag and drop the colour. If you do want images as like for floor, you can do right click import new asset. And now I've selected the images I like to import, I can click import and you'll see them here and I can drag and drop them onto something and it will make another folder called materials. In this materials folder you can change the tiling of your things, for example I could change it to 0.3 and 0.3 and it will make the image wider or I can do 3 by 3 and it will make it smaller. If you do want more of a pixelated style, you can go to this max size section and turn it down. For example, I might go with something like this, but as you can notice, it's blurry to fix that. You want to go to filter mode, click it, point, no filter and click apply. And now you'll have a very nice grass texture. And as you can see, now I've got a very quick map built. Now it's actually time to add our players. So to do this, what we got to do first is delete the main camera and then go to resources gorilla prefab and drag the gorilla rig into the unity project so do not resize the player if he does not fit the map because that will just break it because as you can see the camera doesn't change at all so instead what you're going to want to do is create an empty and i'll call it map click on my top cube or whatever it is and shift click the bottom one and drag it under map and then in map, I can use the resize tool to resize it all. By the way, if you don't make an empty, it will resize weird, for example, like that. So now that we've got everything in the map, we can finally play test the game. So to do that, um, you're going to want to load up in VR and you can use Air Link or PC, VR, whatever you want, as long as it will link it. After that, you're going to want to click play. You do not have to go into VR, but if you do want to test the scale and stuff, you might want to go into VR and you'll probably load into this game view. But I'm going to go into scene view because I want to move my player around without having to go in VR. So after that, I'm going to want to go into the gorilla rig, gorilla player, 
and I have now got the hands and I can move the player around. So as you can see the player is here and if I grabbed my right hand I can push that and it will move the player into the wall. So I'm going to quickly make a bet map to show you what your game could look like. So as you can see I've quickly just made a map. I know it's not the best probably because I rushed it but it's probably the best I could do in five minutes. This is a quick disclaimer that I just want to say thank you to Be Awesome for making the original tutorials on how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game because most of the information of this video I've gotten from his videos. So thank you. If you want to know how to make a map like this, get this video to 100 likes in, I'm going to say, two days. And as you can see, it's all one mesh, which makes it a lot more easier. So apart from that, this is going to be all for today's video. If you enjoy it, I will make a bunch more tutorials on how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and maybe hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. Goodbye.